In today's tutorial, I'll use Inkscape to show you how to create a vector coffee cup, sort of like you see here on my screen. And at any point in this tutorial, you could look down at the bottom left-hand side of my screen to see which uh, keyboard clicks and uh, mouse clicks I'm using. So with that being said, let's get started. The first thing we'll do in Inkscape, go to View, make sure you have Custom selected, Zoom, we'll go to View, Zoom, Zoom in at 1 to 1. Open up the Align and Distribute menu with that button. Make sure you have Last Selected chosen from that drop-down. And then we'll open up our Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. And then we'll grab our Circles and Ovals tool, Ellipses, and we're going to create an ellipse. Just about that size right there. We take that. We'll go back to our arrow. We can take this and move this around. Uh, we'll go to the Opacity. We'll just drop this in half so we can see what we're doing. And let's right click this and go to duplicate and turn that red. And then we'll right click that and go to duplicate again and turn that blue. And hold control on the keyboard and, and grab this top arrow right here and grab this down. Scale it down about that much. And then we'll grab this bottom arrow and bring this out to about here. Then we'll hold shift on the keyboard and click on the red oval behind it so we have them both selected. We'll go to path, difference. Then we'll take this black oval, we'll right click it, go to duplicate, turn that green, send that to the bottom with this button right here, lower selection to the bottom, hold control and shift and let's scale this thing up to about here. And then hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this down to about there. And actually I'm going to hold control and shift and I'm going to make this a little bigger. I want that just a little bit bigger, kind of like that. Now let's click on this, let's click on the black oval, then hold shift and click on the green one. And let's right click and go to duplicate. Go to path, difference, and let's turn that blue, and let's inset that a few times. And we can inset that by going to path, inset, or a quicker way to do this is to hold control and press 9 on the keyboard. We're going to do that a few times, so 1, 2, 3, 4, about that much. You want it to be about that thick right there. And once you get it to that thick, you take the oval tool, circles and ellipses. Let's draw uh, an ellipse going over this bottom lip right here. And then um, let's go back to the arrow, hold shift in the keyboard and click on that blue crescent that we now have. And let's center that up on the vertical axis and go to path, intersection. So we should end up with a little, um, a little shape right there. That's going to that's gonna be the opening in the cup in the, the lid of the cup. So the next thing we'll do is we'll click on this green oval. Let's right click it, go to duplicate. Let's hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this thing down to about here. Then we could hold control and shift and scale this thing up slightly bigger. Let's say about that much bigger than the oval in front of it. Then we can right click this and go to duplicate. And we can move this out of the way for now. We're gonna, we don't need that right now. And what we'll do is, we're actually going to go to the uh, Bezier pen, let's click on that. And then we'll come up here to this green icon that says Snap to Paths. I'm going to turn that on. And um, I'm going to zoom in, hold control and, and roll up on the mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit. Or you could press plus on your keyboard to zoom in. We want to connect this cursor, we want to snap the cursor to the edge. Right about here, and then click. And then I'm pressing down on the mouse wheel to pan the page over. I'm going to hold control and drag this line straight forward to this side and click and then let go of control and bring connect the line to the edge of this green circle right here and click hold control bring the line straight out this way click and then you can let go of control and just connect it all together at the starting point and then we can go back to the we go back to our arrow tool hold shift in the keyboard and click on that big green oval and go up path union and we could press one on the keyboard to zoom back out now let's lower that thing to the bottom lower selection to the bottom click on that and let's turn that blue just so we could differentiate it from everything else we want to be able to make everything out here all right so let's click off of that graphic to deselect everything and let's click on this green oval right here and let's right click it and go to duplicate and hold shift and click on this blue shape center it up on the vertical axis and then align the bottom edges with that button right there. Now I'm going to take this oval, I'm going to click on it, 
hold control and click and drag this thing out about that much and then I'm gonna hold control and click and drag this down about that much and I'm gonna send that to the bottom and then I'm gonna right click this and go to duplicate I'm gonna turn that red and then I'm gonna hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this down to about here maybe about that much yeah I'd say that's pretty good and I'm gonna send that one to the bottom lower selection to the bottom and let's zoom in over this left hand side right here you hold control on the keyboard and roll up on the mouse wheel we can zoom in let's grab our Pezier pen and the snap to pads should still be turned on we're gonna snap the cursor onto the left edge of this oval pan the page over by pressing down on the mouse wheel come over to this side and hold control so this this line goes straight uh, horizontally until it snaps onto the edge click still holding control bring the line straight up until it snaps click and then I'm gonna pan back over to here by pressing the mouse wheel and I'm gonna hold control and drag this line straight out so it snaps over here click on that and we can let go of control and just snap it back to the starting point and then I'm gonna press one on the keyboard to zoom out and then go back to the arrow tool let's turn our snap to paths off we don't need that anymore and then I'm gonna take this red oval right here I'm gonna right click it and go to duplicate and I'm gonna hold control and click and drag this thing down to about here um, maybe down to about there once you get it to about there hold control and shift in the keyboard and scale it down so it's a little smaller maybe about that big this is gonna be the bottom of the cup right here so I'm actually gonna move this down a little more I want this cup to be a little taller I'd say right there is pretty good alright then let's click this box that we just drew and then hold shift and click on the red oval beneath it and let's go to path union and then let's come back down here let's go back to our bezier pen and turn the snap to pads back on we're gonna need that one more time and we could snap this onto the left edge of this oval hold control drag the line out here snap it onto the left edge there click and you can let go of control and bring this line up to about here not all the way on the outside but like not too close that you want it about right about there and then click and then hold control and bring the line straight across so it snaps at the same position on the opposite side and once it snaps click and you can let go of control and just connect it all together back at the starting point then I we can turn off the snap to pads I don't think we need that again we'll click on the arrow let's go back to our arrow hold shift click on the oval let's go to path union and let's turn that um, I'm just gonna turn that green for now and send that to the bottom lower selection to the bottom and we have the outline of it drawn out we just now have to color this in using gradients so let's click and drag actually let's click on this oval and then press delete on the keyboard that's an extra we don't need that let's click and drag over this whole thing so we have everything selected and come over to the opacity let's slide that all the way to the right to bring the color up all right then we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything and then click on this red click on this black oval that we first created and let's make that a dark shade of gray maybe we're gonna make that let's say 30 percent now 40 percent gray we'll make it 40 percent gray if you hover the cursor over the color it should tell you what percentage it is 40 percent gray and then come over here to the fill tab we're gonna click this button the linear gradient and turn that on now if you're using Inkscape version 91 there should be an edit button over here when you click on it it'll show up in the top toolbar but I'm using an older version of Inkscape so it's all down here so it should be a little icon I won't say edit it'll just be a little I a little edit icon when you click on it in my version I'm getting a pop-up window in your version it'll be up here in the toolbar somewhere however it'll function the same way as this one so once you get to this menu we're gonna have two stops let's go to the second stop and let's go to the a column from the HSL tab we want that selected let's go to the a column let's bring the opacity on that all the way up and let's make that a lighter shade almost white but not quite um, yeah about 224 is good once you get there 
close out of that menu. Let's go to our Create and Edit Gradients tool. If you're using a laptop, this icon won't be on your screen. There'll be a little arrow down here. You can click on that, and then a little, a little menu will pop up that says Gradient. Or a shortcut, instead of clicking this button, you can just press G on the keyboard, and it'll get you there. So once you get there, let's take this, this node right here of the darker side. Let's bring it to the bottom. Let's take this node and bring it to the top. And once we get up here, hold control on the keyboard to click and drag this thing so it goes straight up and down. That's how we want it. And then let's go um, let's click on let's go back to our arrow and click on this green oval. And let's give that a gradient as well, a linear gradient. And from the drop down, we're just gonna give it the same gradient we used for the previous circle. And then we'll press G on the keyboard to get back to our gradient menu. And with this one, I'm going to put the darker shade up top and the lighter shade on the bottom. Hold control to drag this down. Just like that. Go back to the arrow. Now let's click on this red crescent right here. And then hold shift and click on this blue little shape right there. And let's turn them black. And let's go back to the opacity and let's drop the opacity down until it looks until it looks about right. This can be a little subjective. I think um, I think I'll leave it there. I think that looks pretty good. You can set it to whatever you think looks good. Sometimes people think it looks good like that. Sometimes it looks good like that. It's all a matter of personal taste. I I kind of like it right about there. Let's say that's pretty good. And then let's click on this this blue piece right here. And let's give that uh, a 40%. Or you know what? We don't even have to do that. We could just give it a linear gradient. Let's go to the linear gradient. And let's choose that gradient from the drop down, the same one. And we could press G on the keyboard. And as you can see, we're pretty much, it's pretty much in the position that we want. We want the darker side on the left and the lighter side on the right. So let's go back to the arrow and let's click on this little green part right there. Let's give that a linear gradient. Go to the drop down. Let's select that one and let's flip that horizontally. So it's like that. That's how we want it, just like that. And then we can click on this red piece over here. Let's give that a linear gradient. Let's go to the drop down. Select our, our gray to white gradient, just like that. That's pretty good. And then we'll go down here. Finally, we'll take this this green part right here. We'll give that a linear gradient as well. Select that one. Let's actually flip this horizontally. Yeah, kind of like that. Let's press G on the keyboard to get this up. I'm going to hold control and bring this all the way over to the edge. I want to, um, I'm going to bring this one in a little bit just to, um, really emphasize the shading on the cup. Just like that. Now, what you could do is you could take this and you could right click it and go to duplicate and you could flip that vertically and turn that black and hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this thing down to about here. Right about there. And we could send that to the bottom. We want it to look like that. We're going to use this to make a little makeshift shadow here. So with it like that, let's go to a linear gradient. And let's press G on the keyboard, and let's grab this darker one, bring it to the top. Take the lighter side, bring it up to about there. Hold control so it goes straight up and down. Go back to our arrow, and let's drop the opacity down. And I'd say that's, that's pretty good. All right, so as you can see, we're pretty much done. We've created our uh, vector coffee cup. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.